How long has it been going on? Is Stinjo character? About a month, and in the wackiest places. I Never saw... mind about that. Are there others? Well, uh, two boys from Yale, a fellow from India. Then there's that wrestler, big guy, about 300... That's enough. I know you know. What? Sure. You hired private detectives to follow me all around St. Louis, Chicago. Been doing it for months. Got one here in San Francisco, too. And you never said anything to me? Why should I? We both knew about it. May, I want all this to change. I want you to be faithful to me. Now, look who's talking. Well, it's different with a man. <sighs> Where have I heard that before? Well, it is. Now, listen. I heard enough of that talk from my father, and I don't need it from you, too. You comparing me to your father? In some ways, you're a lot alike. The hell you say? I'm not like your father. I'm not like anyone. Honey. I want you going around thinking you're not man enough. You are. You're terrific. It's just natural for me to have men around. Natural. Yeah. Natural. Is that your word for it? Natural? Well, yeah. I never lied. I never claimed to be faithful. And you won't give it up for me? I won't pretend, Jim. I gave up my law practice for you. Gave up half my business interest to manage you and to be with you. And you won't do this one thing for me? There's no pride on you, Jim. Why'd you want to rein me in? You think about your image then, May. We built you into something. This ain't no dime store deal anymore. We're in the big leagues. And you're acting like some cheap tart. And those newspaper guys will drag you through the street. Then let them drag! Take it or leave it. Is that what you're telling me? I guess so. Yeah. Thank you, Bob. Well, what do you know? The iron lady cracks at last. Sorry about your mother, but uh, how about a comment? Uh, how do you feel, May? Tell us. No, Jim! Miss West! You get me? Nobody calls her May. sunlight and censorship. Out here, they got a thing called the Hayes office. What do you think? Can the bad girl of Broadway cut it in Hollywood? I just hope the film can take the heat. Here it is, West. Do you think you'll want to drink more? Okay. Miss West. Mm -hmm. Al Kaufman, Paramount Pictures. We're delighted to have you here in California. Oh. Mr. Timoney, we've sent you numerous scripts. You keep turning them down. Miss West needs her own material. In case you're unaware, Mr. Kaufman, she's a very successful playwright. You refer to the stage, Mr. Timoney. This is Hollywood, and on film, she's no leading lady. What? For one thing, she's more than a little overweight. On top of that, she's 40 years old. 39. Everywhere I go, I said box office records. I mean all the way across the country. Miss West, there's a depression on out there. You're getting five thousand dollars a week. No, no. Let me tell you what the trouble is. May, wait a now, minute. Let me finish. Wait. I'm Miss Honky Tonk, Broadway's bad girl. You're all afraid of me. Well, that's all right. 
It's your privilege. Here's your money, all 30,000 of it. Better count it, I'm going home. Miss West, just a minute, please. We don't want your money. I have a feeling, a strong feeling, that night after night will be a very good vehicle for you. That's George Raft's picture, it's his vehicle. Have you read it? Read it? Why, I went over it with a microscope to find my part. I have four scenes in the whole movie. Four very good scenes, two of them with George Raft. The public will remember you, Miss West. Excuse me, Mr. Kaufman. They remember me already. We're wasting our time. Gentlemen, no hot feelings. Things just didn't work out. Come on, Jim, let's go. Miss West? Yeah, that's me. I guess you don't remember me, Bill LeBaron. Oh, but yeah, sure. How are you? Jim, you know Hi, Bill. Jim. Nice to oh, see you again. Yeah, you wrote down. Ah, Broadway. Oh, Broadway. Sure. A lot of years hey, you ago. remember that Irish maid sketch that I wrote and then you rewrote? Oh, well, I played around with it a little. Well, you made it a hell of a lot better. You know, I'm producing night after night. Oh, yeah? And I was wondering, could you take your scenes and rewrite them for me? I'll give you a free hand. Wait a minute. You mean to say I can take those scenes and do them my way? Right. What is all this, Archie? We are shut down, Mr. Kaufman. Yeah, I can see that. Why? Apparently, Miss West prefers to direct the picture herself. Isn't that so, Miss West? Mr. Mayo over here wants to cut the camera after my line, but you can't do that. You gotta stay with me as I go up the stairs. It's a waste of film, Mr. Kaufman. The scene's over after she's delivered the line. No, it ain't. If you cut there, you'll kill the laugh. We're shut down over that? Yes, sir. Over that. Let's see the scene. All right. Miss West. Mr. Mayo. Action. Goodness, what beautiful diamonds. Goodness, I had nothing to do with it, dearie. Everything but the cameras. Well, boys, looks like we got ourselves a brand new movie star. <laughs> yes, she is. She is not. Mae West is not a movie star. Mr. Timoney, surely you can look at this from our position. Diamond Lil's about the gay 90s. Movie audience is young, mostly. High school, college kid. They don't know anything about that period. They don't care about that period. Maybe you should stop following trends, Mr. Kaufman, and set them. Perhaps if she had an established star working with her, like, uh... Cary Grant. Who? She's found some new guy named Grant. Cary Grant. The stilt walker? Sorry for having taken your time. What do you think my time is for? Haven't you ever met a man who could make you happy? Sure, lots of times. <clears throat> well, I've got to be getting back to the mission. That ought to be interesting. Well, it's just one of those things I have to do. Well, good night. Come up again. Anytime. Well, it won't be long now. Top print, next set up over here. What do you think? I think they're very good together. Do you think she's a star? Only the audience can say if she's a star. Yes, Miss West. 